to and we're live mega need show sonic guard Radio. how we doing today let's hear it guys Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of the Mang and Need Show on Sonic Gardens Radio. Um, please like and subscribe to our channel here on YouTube uh, so we can grow this this out, man. Opening song, Monocle and Whiskey performing Lonely Boy by the Black Keys. So here we are, Mang and Neat Show, Sonic Gardens Radio, running a uh, 26-day of uh, central New York quarantine, and we've been running this thing uh, every day right around this time, and giving uh, updates on status and uh, taking calls from uh, anybody out there that wants to share their situation, predicament, predictions, etc. But... um. Yeah, looking to get a thousand subscribers on the Sonic Gardens channel. We'll be ready for uh, um, once everything opens up. We'll be ready to start recording again and get some more uh, some more action down here. Thousand subscribers, help us out. Hit that subscribe button. Share. Tell your babysitter. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, lead singer in. Uh, Monocle and Whiskey is uh, Chris Wheeler, honorary member of Sonic Gardens before moving to uh, Nashville, Tennessee. But, um, yeah. How you doing, Chris? Give us a comment or something if you're out there listening. Monocle and Whiskey intro tune. What's going on in there? So what do you think, man? What's going on with you? Oh, not much. What's the latest, man? We spent a lot of time working on that telephone line again. Oh, boy. We did all right, though. You know, we still, we got going about the time we said we would. Yeah, we did. So, uh, hey, you know. Oh, yeah. Tomorrow will be later. That's right. Um, Not 100% sure on what time, but. So uh, we'll post it during the day. Yeah. What did we point. say? Maybe well, four, th- maybe four thirty or five. Yeah, somewhere around thinking. there. I'll let you know though for sure during the day, so you could give a heads up. Right. To your people. To the people. Yeah, they're your people too. Oh, you know? I know. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so here we are, another day. We made it. We made it. Another day. Another day. For sure. Woke up. So, uh, any news today? Any, any, uh, anything cool in the news? Any, oh, man. Anything cool in the world? I haven't really, on? not really paying much attention to, to a lot oh, of, you uh, just the, you pay know, attention really, to the like, news? I'm kind of like absorbed in, uh, this whole thing, you know? It's like as far as coronavirus news. Oh, boy. Just the latest with, uh, you know, doubt, everybody's doubting the numbers, et cetera. They are? Well, like they're doubt, like they're they're saying now the numbers are fluffed. Uh, the death fluffed. Count, the death count is off. Uh, you know there would have been way more deaths if Trump didn't close the border and uh, stuff like that. You know, huh? But close uh, the border. Here huh? we are. I do have uh, I do have it. The numbers up right now. As far as what I got, I got a uh, one million six hundred eighty thousand five hundred twenty-seven cases. 
uh, actually six one million six hundred eighty two thousand cases two hundred and twenty hundred one thousand nine hundred eighty three deaths and three hundred and seventy five thousand ninety three people have recovered um, so that accounts for uh, it looks like about 1.2 million people uh, outstanding. Yes, active cases. 1.2 million, 96% uh, of those. So it seems like the serious or critical has slightly declined as, uh, you know, like maybe as U.S. has upped its testing. I'm not really sure. Huh. Death uh, amongst Death. critical or uh, the discharged of the patients discharged is 21%. Well, so I was thinking, all right. I was thinking that if you correlate the uh, new cases and then, well, actually, you look at the deaths for today. Yeah. And the deaths today are going to correlate to. The last two weeks of cases, not all of them, you know, right. because you're in and out. But if you step back two weeks to just pick a date to timestamp it, I think that you'll see that that number, the death number is going to correlate with the cases. Uh, well, from two weeks before you not the no, not the same number. I'm saying. You got to basically look at the serious and critical and you got to look at that. Well, that's and, that. And my that point says is 11,000. That... So you're definitely going to get at least within the next couple of weeks, five or six thousand more deaths. Right. About... Well, like like if you look at directly for the day. So like yesterday. Right. Had, not, I'm just going to go with, uh, you know. Um, yesterday was thirty two. Or thirty three. USA thirty three. Yeah. yeah. So what I'm saying is is in two weeks from now, those are yeah, a four if you look at the critical the critical situation. That's what I'm saying. Like you look at the critical and you take about little maybe not about half not half or whatever, you're gonna those deaths are gonna start coming off of there and and the critical is gonna start coming off. Right. So also the, the critical was twenty one percent. So one in five of the criticals are gonna be the deaths. Right. So you can tell yeah, so 4%. I say like 4, so you're going to, they're going to start, you're going to get, but if the number stays the same, the critical, if it still stays around, t whatever, it's just going to keep going for weeks on end. And you're, and you're like you're saying, the 1 in 5 is still will be up unless that serious, the critical starts dropping. Now, when that gets down to four, three or 4 grand, it'll be a different story. But uh, right, you know, you hear what I'm saying or no? Yeah, yeah, totally. But it so like, and the other looks thing like it's would... been pretty. It's been right around there, or a little higher, right around nine to eleven, for a few weeks now, right? The critical and serious, from what I right. remember. As far as percentage, no, I uh, yeah, well, we've had three straight days of. The percentage has under, been about the same, yes, but I'm saying just under two thousand. Uh, for deaths. anywhere from nine to eleven thousand, uh, the last four or five days have been serious or critical in that category. Okay. So. So yeah, there's that too. So, so here's my thing: is you take uh, you know, two weeks before, um, or no, not not for here, yeah, two weeks before this date. So the ninth, uh, that brings us back to. The second, and then, uh, yeah, and then gets us to um, 27. There's 31. Either way. So there was 18,000 new cases two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. And then 1,900 deaths. Unbelievable. So the cases have doubled. So it would only, my assumption of that is that the death toll will double on that. Um, and again, if you go back to this day, it's like all three of those days are all about the same. 
So we're looking at about like seven more days, six more days of the same type of death toll, and then it's going to jump up and to a, a higher death toll. And that's going to run for a week too, and that's pretty much what we what they've been saying. You know, Fauci, as far as it's going to be a rough two weeks, and even Trump, it's going to be really hard two right. weeks. So, but that's only based on the numbers that we have. So what is it going to be in two weeks? It could just mean that the next two weeks are going to be even worse than the previous two weeks, right? Yeah, it could be. Um, For sure. It, uh, yeah. Yeah? It could be. It all depends on... Yeah, I don't know. Now I don't know about them fucking people reporting and shit. Like, I don't... Well, what do you mean? Well, they seem kind of fishy now. Like I told you, now, before they were counting um, deaths of uh, people that died, they were testing them to see if they died without, if they hadn't been tested yet. They were testing them. Now they haven't been testing dead people to see if they died from COVID or not. So the numbers aren't. Now these guys are fucking with the numbers like the people in China. Right. So now, which is kind of bullshit. Because that's like um, misleading your country. You would, right? Like, yeah. you start to see them piling up. And it's, then you're uh, like, and I also saw that he dro he's dro they're dropping funding he, uh, for, the fe for the testing. But I think he, he pulled back on that. On the funding? Oh, he did? I he pull they, he, he like, pulled out? Last night, as of last night when they did it, they I they, thought I they saw weren't. something that said Unless it, they said that, something uh, today. Yeah. Because uh, today was the day they were going to pull out the federal funding. And they also, um, I don't know, March 10th or 12th, he was saying, oh, everybody, anybody that wanted the test could get a test. Now they're saying that's not the case. And they said that yesterday. Pence said that yesterday. I don't know about Trump, but because Trump wasn't at the first thing because he was on the horn with Putin and uh I don't know who else. He's talking to Putin, though. That's what they said, at least. Yeah. Well, his translator was. Talking to Putin. So, you have, there's, there you have that. There's the updates. There it is. So, what else is going on? Fucking people are dying. People um, are dying. Yeah. Um, we still have, uh... We have an election in... When is it? November? Yeah. The election. Yeah, I don't really, uh... I'm not following much of that at the moment. Oh. I mean, I guess I don't really follow it, but I know that it's... Happening then. Some, uh, sometime. I don't know exactly when. <laughs> Something's happening. No, I think I what I have been hearing is that there's just been a lot of uh, um, people that want to, you know, the talk about um, mail-in ballots. Right. And I guess uh, well, Trump, they were... Trump went on a rant about how they're, they're you know, fit, that they're um Yeah, because they didn't, they didn't want that to happen for Wisconsin. Right. And then he was saying, "Oh, they want they wanted to postpone it till June because I endorsed the." And it had nothing to do with him endorsing anybody. No one gives a fuck. He likes to paint a picture, though. Right. He's like that's that's like what he's good at. It's like he's like his his own worst and best PR. Right. It's that whole like dangle the thing over here. Like if I come out and say this, then I'm gonna have people going in circles for three days about my language. Well, right. you know, I may have made other decisions and then we'll find out about those down the road where they're like secret call. And then it's like, oh, when was that? That was right after this uh, press briefing. And then he walked in the other room. You know, it's just like it's just, uh, you know, like I said, anybody. I had a new one that I liked oh. a new game that I thought we could all play as like um, in the in the world of uh, politics you know oh. a little game we could we could play a game of like okay i'll trade you the retirement of uh nancy pelosi for <laughs> the retirement of mitch mcconnell you know right the people would all be like 
okay, let's do that. They'd be like, okay, I'll give up Pelosi to get rid of that guy, et cetera. You know, and then you're like, oh, Schumer for uh, Lindsey Graham. And you could just go on and on. And basically, we auction. Somebody's them. running like against reverse. one of them guys, aren't they, this year? We like, yeah, Lindsey Graham's got potential to, you know, both of them. Mitch, too. Mitch, yeah. But, um, Somebody man, just hit him with a car. but they are so, like, that's what it comes down to is that we're finding that, you know, it's it's just tough for anybody to go up against the, the political system. They got all the money. They got all the all the all the uh, misinformation and their master manipulators, you know, so. Right. How can you go? How can you go up against that? And that's what we you know, that's what we just experienced, I believe. Yeah. Huh. I want to know who they're going to throw in there after if they keep fucking bringing sexual abuse cases up against Joe, who are they going to throw in there to run against Trump? They're lining up Cuomo. They who are, knows, right? Who knows, man? Who knows? They ought to bring Sneaky Pete back. Let Obama run again. That would be a fun matchup. Yeah, but match there's no, no one... They, would that be like... um? They won't let him. Like, there's no way... The president would have to be the one that said whatever, and there ain't no way... He's, he would let that happen because if he got beat by that, there was no, you know what I mean? He'd jump off one of his buildings or something. There's no way he'd be like, yeah, if I get beat, <laughs> well, that's why we get, it comes down to that too. We'd be like, we, we'd be like, uh, yeah, well, I don't know who we'd sacrifice. We'd sacrifice whoever's next, you know, we'll trade you a Bernie for yeah. a Trump. And yeah, like, Bernie and free, Trump. And we'd let those guys fucking, and, uh, you know, I don't they, know. You know, I mean, there's another thing is I feel like they're um, all fucking idiots. I feel like me, they I feel like they should retire. Too, that why do they why do they why do politicians like not retire? Because they're just there and they're, they're all like so like kind of uh think about it, man. The power trip. Come on now. You can do shit and you're, I think it's, you know what I mean? Like you're the well, fucking senator of the state, like I I got you. But I also I also think there's like a You're um, helping set stupid rules. Yeah, people put you in there. Like, I think that before Joe Biden said, I want to be president, somebody came to him and said, I think we can make you president. You know what I mean? Well, like, they said, that... we know you we, You have the best chance to win. They And, right. and they're right, man. They're right. Like, no matter how anybody wants to look at it, they're, they're right about that. Does it, make but you, not does it a... mean he's the good guy to go in there? No, it doesn't. None of them are. None, honestly, none of them are. So that's why. Fuck them all. So that's why it comes I down really to I really don't think, thing. I don't think, I don't. I mean, I don't like any of them. I mean, that Pete kid, yeah, get him in there because he's young, but that's not a reason to put somebody yeah, in but there. He, but he right me, away, he right away showed some, uh, you know, huge negative colors. Yeah, they, they the, are, uh, they all are gonna. But I, to me, having someone younger in there is kind of, I just, I, 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 just to me, like someone that's younger's got some more ideals in. Uh, and they're with the times than someone that's in their 70s or late 60s to me. But they're all, don't get me wrong, they're all dirt balls. Fuck it. You know what I mean? I don't I don't have anything to gain or loot, whatever, but they're all, I don't, and none of them are good. Like, you know what I mean? You can hit your fucking trailer to any one of them, but it doesn't mean they're not really, like, they're not really going to change anything for you and I. Like, it's not, no matter... If someone gets in there that has all these great ideas, like no one's going to let them change anything anyways is what it comes down to. They just get in there and then it's all like left and right, left and right, fucking sing it, song and dance. If they do change something like Obama changed that insurance shit, then they come in here and he comes in there, the next guy, and fucking puts a stop to it. It's just like... Well, they've been it's a waste of fucking time and money. It's a waste of fucking... I mean, there's better things to put on the TV than that shit. Worrying about who's going to run and fuck up your country. Like, um, but when it comes to this pandemic, man, like, that's where it hurts. And you know what I mean? It's like this thing, uh, something big like this hasn't happened in 100 and, what, 10 or 15 years. And when it does, we just so happen to have one of the worst... I, I don't know. It seems like he'd be in the top ten of the worst. Pr- I don't know. I, maybe not, but I wasn't around for those other. Well, you got to figure all the all the other. Presidents. You know, even right up till um, like Bush fucking Obama, blew. The fact that 
that everything is blown right up, even in the last few years, technology. And, you know, it's like, um, uh, you know, it was getting there, but the whole political charge didn't really, you know, like Facebook becoming just a political, uh, an extension of like your, your, uh, yeah, political wing. It's all fucking money, man. Is what it, you know what I mean? It, it comes down to like money. Like you, but I'm saying it's still like a new thing. So it's like I, I wonder that too. Like, what the next president? Because we look at like the Trump presidency is like, oh my god, every single day for four years, this guy has dominated the press, the comedy, the uh, late night. You know, the late night shows. Right, and he's great uh, material. Saturday though. night. That's what I'm saying. It's, it is it's great, it's great material. material. Everybody's for even- killing it. They're Even like to watch com- him uh, get on there and say dumb shit is kind of like whether it's you're funny, but it's not because he whether means you're, what he's saying. Sorry. Yeah, whether you're pro or anti, everybody's killing it as far as like media, you know, and uh, and uh, like entertainment and all that stuff. Man, there's people that make their whole they're making whole you know lives out of it, and it's like they've they've all of a sudden you know you know things like just YouTube channels where people, all they're doing is political analysis. And, you know, it's just like something that it's crazy. And then you think, okay, so the next president comes in, is it going to be the same? Or is it just going to be like, oh, he's like the normal guy and nothing weird happens. He comes on and says nice things to the people. You know what I mean? Or is it just going to be the same like press conference craziness? Um, And if it's not the same, and all of a sudden, you know, it's like all these ratings go down. You know, it's like the thing that 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 plunt that like uh, that skyrocketed uh, twenty four hour news networks to the top was the original Desert Storm. It's like when that happened, we for the first time were able to watch bombs like hit targets right on TV. Fucking, and I was like, and listen to Wolf Blitzer and uh, what's that? What's that lady's name? Uh, Something compor Oh man, she's good too. She's But oh. man, this goes so far like I'm just this kid. It's like coming home and it's like, oh, let's watch the bombs today. And it was like that that is a that's a weird thing to me. Right. That you were a kid that. though, right? I mean I was fairly I mean nineteen You were twenty so it was two thousand and one, right? Or no, No, I'm talking ninety. Oh, you're, you're talking in the nineties. I'm talking like nineteen ninety, right? Oh so ninety I mean, Oh, Desert Storm? Yeah. When was uh, Desert Storm? 91, right? Yeah. Something like that. So what? I was uh, 14 or something. Whatever. You Kid. were? Oh, yeah. How old was I? I don't I don't know. I'm not. Yeah, man. I'm a year younger. I was 13. <laughs> okay, yeah. Maybe I was too. Seven, I don't know. Whatever. Uh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So we that was like that. And then the next move, next big thing was like O.J. Simpson. And then we watch riots, you know, on TV of people burning and looting. And these were 92? like. Yeah, these were all things that plunged 24-hour news networks right. into, like, the main thing. Before, everybody was fine with, like, oh, tune into the 6 o'clock news and they'll give you the rundown on the latest, you know. But then it was like, what's going on right now in, you know, uh, L.A. during a riot? Or what's going on right now? at that O.J. Simpson trial, you right. know, or what's going on right now in Iraq with these bombs dropping in Baghdad, you know, bombs over protecting. Baghdad. Yeah. Yeah. So then all of a sudden, here we are. It's like you fast forward, and even so, like, Bush's presidency was uh, kind of extreme because now it was under the uh, little Bush, and it was because he was under that 24-hour news network world. So, like, then you go to you go to Clinton, it started to get like that because of, it was also, like I said, the rise of 24-hour news networks. Right? Yeah. What does CNN stand for? Cable News Network or something like that? I Yeah. They we, were like the original one that was like 24 hours. Right. All the time news, man. All the time news. Oh, and yeah. then, yeah, so as that, just like anything, that, that pot got polluted and it became like a um, corrupt. Well, I, 
they're funny because uh you got they're always talking about well not always but you got people like don lemon for them and they're all um they bring up the bad stuff that trump does and stuff but and then in the next breath like the next breath they're just they post his tweets and everything they give him all it's like giving that um yeah, yeah it's man. the whole thing about you give the attention to that i would and it's shut like, it of course. Like, yeah i would uh i i mean it's too late now because they've done it his whole presidency but i would have shut it down like from day one but, never you, but talk you see about where i go because there's no news like a tweet he puts is not news it's just like something he said that's not true like who gives a fuck you know how many people lie like come on <laughs> Like, it's all over. Like, you don't need to... They make it bigger than it is, and he knows that, and he'll just... So he just tweets random, fucked up, whatever. Whatever the fuck he thinks he's thinking. I don't think he's all... I don't I don't think any of them old guys are all there, but... I mean, tell me they, none of them lost a fucking step. So, or get forgetful or anything like that you're telling me none of those guys that are that old have been around that long are getting a little wishy washy up there so that's my whole thing with like joe biden and bernie and and uh trump them guys being in there and all them old fuckers that are and nancy and chuck fuck that man it's like we're not like you and i are in our 40s and there's a and there's people that are younger than us, people that are just in their 50s and stuff. And those these people that are running most of the country are not in the fucking times. Like, they're not. Yeah, they're old. They are, man. This isn't 1992 anymore. This isn't the 80s. This isn't when they grew up, when they were young, when they're, what they, their mind harkens back to is like, it's not that times. It's We're in a whole different fucking ball game here. Like, and and... To be running the country like trump gets he gets i don't know if he gets it but he gets like the twitter shit like he's he's to that but he's lied his whole life so it's like uh, here's another outlet for me to run my yip fucking i mean i agree with you a hundred percent man um i don't <laughs> you know i do like, yeah no i just it's like he, it, i just don't get all the old like there's people our age that are so enamored with hooking out, hooking their fucking trailer to a Trump or any one of these older guys. I just, I just don't. Uh, I get why well, you like yeah, Bernie. I get different. why you like Bernie and all that. I get it. I get all that because I get what he stands for. And there's no one else. No, no one else is is trying to do that. But I just like all these young guys. But. But everything, uh, all these young guys that stand by, tr like, like he don't give a fuck about you. Like, think about it. He don't give a flying fuck about you. There's not one thing in his personality that would make you think that he cares about your 40-year-old self or your 35-year-old self or your 25-year-old self. But now, with Bernie, yes, I get why you like him because he has not, I get it. I get the old, like, he cares about you people or me. He cares about people, but there is no way in hell that if anything that you would read or hear Trump say that you could think that he gives a flying fuck about any of us. Like, I mean, it's, 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 it's in everything he says, <laughs> like the, the main thing is money, man. It all comes by. And if you watch any of these press conferences, the main thing he, he he'll talk about how it's terrible that people are dying and that he's only gonna that he's gonna stop it from millions of people dying and 200,000 well 200,000 people would be a lot of people if they died from this so there's that it's just and then he wants the and then and then the next fucking breath it's the economy this the economy that so like think about it i mean i'm not fucking the most brilliant person in the world but it, it doesn't you, anybody could see it. A fucking ten-year-old could see it. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, anything you got? <laughs> anything you got? <laughs> You're good. No, I. I mean, I. I like it. You know, you. You were saying that. Uh, you know, it was a little long-winded yesterday. So, I'm. I'm happy to hear. Listen to you. Right. Thank you, for sharing. I don't feelings. give a fuck either if it, if if you're you know if he's a Democrat or a Republican or whatever the hell you guys all I don't care who they are if they if they 
If I got something to say about him, I'll fucking say it. I don't care. I don't like Nancy Pelosi either. I just, I don't think she should be in there. And I don't like Shu, Shu, or. That's why I said, I think Schumer. a great game would be like we trade one for the other. A you great know? game would be some hey, we got, uh, get in there. You know, a, uh, you know a guy, uh, Dion Adder? I do. Yeah, he says, uh, it's the 5G people and the boomers. Uh, the killing boom? it on lot. The <laughs> I do know DM. But have you tried DMT? <laughs> the classic line. Oh, shit. You know, DMT is uh, one of those Tell things. Tell us, Edge. Um, no, I mean, it, it, it has a, uh, I don't know. I don't really know anything, but I've heard that uh, it has a funny taste. Oh. But huh. you got to let go. That's like kind of what it's about. You right. Know? Waving your dick in the wind. Yeah. Fucking hey. Hey, uh, so um yeah, I don't know, man. Hey you so on. I hear you. Uh I'm up with the sixty or sixty five year cutoff. Anybody in office, it's gotta be done by then. Yeah, it's like if you go, got a, you got the like, thirty five year old you have to be to get in to be a president. Why the hell can't why isn't there a cutoff? Right. I agree. Same with those judges and all that. You got it's just like I mean, go do something. You run a job that bad, go fucking bag groceries or something. Yeah. So, yeah. So, hey, I'm going to play a song right now. All uh, right. Keep this thing going. Oh, with, yeah. Uh, we're going to segue out in a song, and we'll be back in to give you guys some more updates and some more uh, banter and some more um, ideas on a, uh, you know, on our uh, Sonic Gardens radio. Mega Need Show. Mega Need Show. <laughs> Oh, what happened? You crashed? I hosed something up here. Oh boy. Oh no. Unbelievable. Hold on, we're gonna do a uh, we're gonna do a restart on that because I'm into my uh, my cut fades here. Oh boy, it's like and a backwards to, uh, to. Problem was is that I had uh, music already playing from a different location. So here we go. We're gonna try this again. Hope you guys like my little record spin wheel. So we're coming in hot right now, ladies and gentlemen. Sonic Gardens Radio.
begin to change Watching time just fade away Lord, I can't seem to shake this pain No, it will not go away And I can't forget her face Heaven knows it's been over a month But I'm just not, I never spent so much Time spent watching Watching my full home Now I know she broke my walls And she won't even return my calls Why do I bother her at all? Oh, I know Oh, oh, I know Oh, oh, I know How much lower can I go? Yes, I stare at that I'm walking on the fire. I've been walking on the fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get no fussing and fighting, you keep on uniting now. What the world means, just a little more of you and me, just singing and dancing tonight. Oh, oh, hello. Oh, oh, hello. How much lower can I go? Yes, I said, my sister, my sister, my brother. Oh, oh, oh if you let me go, go so low. I said, my sister, my sister, my brother. Don't you let me go, let me go for so low. My brother, my brother. Don't you let me go so Everybody, welcome back. That was uh, Ben Wayne, and that was uh, three years ago. We did uh, we got together with Ben in a couple sessions, learned some of the songs that he wrote. That was uh, one of his original songs, "How Low." And uh, if you're listening out there, Ben, what's happening? How you hanging in there in the uh, in the uh, you know the quarantine? I know uh, Syracuse has got quite a few cases, so I imagine. Uh, You've been laying low. So I did. He put a music video out there. Yeah, play it. Yeah. Well, now uh, I just played a music oh. video. Yeah. Oh. So uh, yeah, if you want to, if he wants to send in a thing, yeah, that that's a a reminder there that if anybody wants to send anything in, uh, as yeah. far as like music or something that you might want us to play, you can send it to sonicgardens at gmail dot com. It goes for like really anything. If you uh, get an article, I guess you could send something. You know, you thought it might be interesting. So yeah, it was uh, three years ago. 
So uh, some people know that like there was an old studio. We're in the uh, new studio now. But about a year ago, there was a uh, fire and we had to relocate. And it wasn't uh, in our studio, but it was uh, in the same building. So, uh, yeah, we uh, lost electricity and heat. So uh, we had to relocate. Ended up getting a great place, and uh, I spent about six, seven months of just working on the cosmetics and uh, getting the thing up to par. And, uh, yeah, I've been spending the rest of the time trying to uh, grow it and, uh, you know, get some things happening. And then uh, we we were uh, making some huge breakthroughs and then uh, had the big, uh, you know, notice that we all had to go on quarantine. So, yeah. That kind of put a damper on things and uh, figured it freed up a little time for us to start running this uh, show daily. Sonic Gardens Radio. Being a neat show, mother. That's right. There's a, there's a clip for our uh There it is. Thing. Yeah. Quality clip. Looking to get 1,000 subscribers. So if yeah. anybody out there can give us a, a, you know, a like and subscribe, yeah. that would be great. Fucking do it. You know, not very many. Not looking for the world. Right. Don't need five million. Nope. Just looking for one. Just one thousand. thousand. Then he can We're tell. In. I did it. Yeah. He done did so it. So that uh Yeah, so that's uh that's for just a recording from the old studio. It's a beautiful the old one. setup. Um yeah. We got it ten times better though these days. As far as uh, capability, you know what I'm saying? Right. All right. Let's give this uh, back to the numbers here. We got to uh, give an update. Numbers. We got to give updates. You know, we got to keep this thing. Uh, Fuck it. Streets flowing. are crowded, man. Well. Um. Yeah. No, I just saw somebody just a minute ago, and they, you know, wanted to shake my hand. I don't really understand what? how it's even come. Yeah, like, or even fist bump. It's like there's like. Nothing, man. It's like, what's huh. going on? Why can't we just not? Like, why we got to, uh, you know. Don't fucking kick a motherfucker in the dick. I try to <laughs> fucking shake my hand. I mean, come on. All right. Do they watch the news or 2, anything? 2,000 cases they, they, since, uh, 2,000 cases in the U.S. since, um, I just updated this thing. Unbelievable. Just came in and updated. Boom. 2,000. So, uh, well, yeah, we're looking at 24,000 today already, new cases. Um, Wow. Wow. And our, uh, oh, death per million is up to 55. 55. Um, (laughs) Yeah. We've only tested 2,499,000. That's officially ninety-three. So that's officially um oh wait, what is that? Nothing really. I was gonna say that's one percent. That's officially fucking what are they doing with the other fucking three hundred and twenty eight million people? It's not though. Like so in other words, it's not even one percent tested. Right. You'd My think thing that is, is you wanna if you if you would want to look good. As far as survival and things, he would test more people. The more tests, he'd test everybody because then it would drop the whole thing to these numbers that they're talking. Because, oh, you got it, but you got no symptoms. Okay, two weeks later, we test you again. You never even got sick. Everything was fine. Right. Boom. I think some of his people are turning out. Well, that's not that I think that they are. I don't know, man. I think they got emboldened with the latest. No, there's people definitely like you said as the as the carnage and people start looking around to see what happened and I thought you know like I said somebody trying to shake my hand today it seems like they don't have the proper information to even try and you know take it easy. I don't know all I do, but I do know. Uh, five hundred and nineteen more people die and will be tied with Italy. For deaths. I mean, it's not like something you want to be tied for. With them, right, but. just New York alone is literally... That, that's why I'm saying we're in New York. We're not we, in the we city. We definitely are, Ange. We're not in the city, we but, de- but fuck it's it, like... Hey, thanks for... <laughs> 
I forgot. Well, you know, the listeners, no, they I could know. think we were in well, Nebraska. Well, we, we should be the way we should be in Nebraska. It would um, probably be better for our health. Literally. Literally. So we, so we're kind of in that situation where, you know. It's funny how you pick Nebraska. They're way down on the list, aren't they? That was just a random. I guess it was like the place nobody is. That's why. Well, they have 635 cases. 15 people have perished. One since yesterday. And 68 new cases. Guess how many people they have tested? How many? 9,375. <laughs> so. No way. That's what that's what their numbers say. Okay. Um, what else we want to know? Yeah. You talking to them? <laughs> talking to you? Oh. Um. Motherfucker. So, uh, what do you got in there for me? We don't have any news. There's no news or nothing. I just gotta let you keep. There's no news. Oh wait, Doc. So here's an update. Doc Holiday uh, update on the world world meter. Uh, in the in the details below that says uh, as of April 9th, um, Dr. Fauci says the final death toll looks more like sixty thousand yeah, than he the one hundred to two hundred. But, but I would listen there. I don't um, know what they're looking at. They're well, he obviously well, yeah. You know, but think about all the mid states and stuff. So they they like they just honestly believe that this that it's going to go away then. They just every like they're starting to think that it's just gonna kind of like a miracle, or like, they uh, paid them and told them calm the fucking people down so we can open it back up, right? Hmm. Um. Is that possible? I saw a thing today. Yeah, every, that, anything's possible. So that was a thing. Money you talks. Know, like think you said, they've it. been going after uh, Fauci, and he. Uh, so they, I just saw like a meme that said, you know, from somebody, it was like a conspiracy theorist type person situation, but they were like, you know, Fauci has been, you know, involved in for so many years and he's been the, the, the guy behind all the scares and that he has special, special interest with the pharmacies and the pharmaceutical industry and he might. all this stuff. So he graduated from uh, Cornell. I Pretty sure. But I I mean, I've listened to his interviews and he seems like a really smart guy and he seems uh, pretty genuine. Yeah. So I like I said, when he says that, that that that's a I'm taking that for what it is. If if Trump said that, I wouldn't. I'd be like, man, I don't know. But if Fauci said that. Sixty thousand, I mean, it's not. I'm not minimizing it. Sixty thousand is a lot. It's too many. It's crazy, but um, just, you know, I believe him. Well, but it's going to, it's going to, it's like I also said, as far as rate is going to be determined on where you are and your, the care and how much care you can get, you know, and how, um, you know, if the, if the hospitals are overloaded, then, uh, you know, less chance. So the uh, the firm that uh, ran uh, Mike Bloomberg's uh, presidential campaign, uh huh, they're bidding to take over uh, the great Joe Biden's presidential. They're bidding. Yeah. Like they are, he's like got it up for auction. Who wants to like run well, his I campaign? Mean, it sounds kind. You think it is that a different campaign? Like. Who would switch campaign in the middle? It seems like, uh, you know, you, you got to remember, though, I don't think he's I don't he had like a half ass one. Remember, he didn't run any ads. Right. He wasn't putting any money. So into that's it. what's that's what's unbelievable about the whole thing. You didn't have to. He didn't even have to because he didn't back have to what to. I said. I mean, he definitely didn't have to. The only re a lot of the reason, man, he he when he was vice president. Mm -hmm. He did not ever, you never heard anything of him ever, like, question Obama. Uh, he did his job as a vice president. 
Never yeah, which fucking is what, stepped on his toes. Never did anything. If you remember to ruffle any feathers. If you remember coming into that, it was uh, it was such an outrage at Dick Cheney's role in the president in in uh, uh, Little Bush's uh, presidency that when you know that was like one of the campaigning things, and when they would ask him, "Are you going to be?" And he would say, I'm going to, you know, I'm here to back the president. And that's like the same like role that Pence has played. So they so vice presidents have kind of fallen into the roles they're supposed to play, which is just back the president. That's like should be the deal. Right. You know? But I like, mean, like uh... I said, Dick Cheney got in there and he I, you know, like at least according to a lot of the things between uh, he had a lot of uh, a lot of say in, in things. He was, is he a smart guy? They made a movie well, he about was a, him, right? They he's been well. He's him? been around all the way since like uh, Nixon. He was like in Nixon's cabinet along with that other. Yeah, how'd that work? That's what I'm saying. He's like a guy that he's has just like come up fucker. through the whole thing. You know, he's he he knew all about that fucking. Uh, was that Watergate, right? Yeah. So that's that's yeah. kind of why you know. Shiesty fucker. And then just you being the Trump, uh, you don't think sorry you don't former think, CEO of Halliburton and you know interest in that you don't think so, Bush and them guys did anything fucking shady well obviously so big bush's big thing was the now uh, big bush did he, Iran. was he was he kind of quiet though when he was uh he was uh, Reagan's. He's a um yeah he, he was quiet right he wasn't because that reagan quiet. was a loud reagan right. was a loud fucking him and nancy were trying to do everything that those was, guys were in the primary against each other. Reagan, Reagan spent so Bush. much of our, uh, not ours, but like my parents' tax money and your parents' tax. Like he spent so much money trying to do something that he never was going to figure out or stop. Like, like same same deal with this clo- uh, putting the border up shit. Right. They want to spend all this money on. I get it. I get why you want to stop drugs and shit. But there's other way and 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 the money that fucking Reagan spent. And he basically was piggybacking off of what Nixon was trying to do back then, and it stalled a bit because of Carter and shit. But and then Reagan picked it back up. The no say no, and then made his say no to drugs and all that stuff. But but Nixon was the one that wanted to stop all that shit to begin with. Um. Yeah, that was a that was a. But he didn't spend the money that fucking Reagan did, man. Yeah, that was huge. And and that's why they don't want to stop. Like they don't want to stop doing that stuff, and they don't want cert because then all these people they wouldn't get the funding for it, and all these people wouldn't get the money. Like the workers, like it's a whole. It's all about money, man. Every fucking thing. They won't make a good decision sometimes because they're worried about the money that they got coming in, or these, or their friends uh, that that are like the the head or the CEO of making more money. It's all, I mean, yeah. We could I, go on for days, I guess, about, t- you get me fucking going. I don't usually get going, but. I'm with you. Um, you get me going on that stupid shit. I, when we start talking about presidents, though, like, I do know a few, like, I'm not, like, hip to hip, but I do know, I do know how a lot of them fucked up and and what they did to fuck up and what, 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 how they spent countless amounts of money on stupid shit that that you there's no way you're gonna you're gonna solve it there's no way man it it doesn't take a it doesn't take a rocket scientist as they say it's a redistrict like uh they call socialism like a redistribution of uh you know money people's money right and then but at the same time, the money, the tax money that already is being taken gets redistributed back. to back to the people that don't need it. And, right. And so, in other words, we're we're the, we are the ones bailing out. So, in, the uh, instead companies. of like Saddam Hussein taking all the money, these guys they do the same type of shit with it all, but they 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 spread it with their friends and stuff like that instead of taking yeah. it all in, like Saddam. Like Saddam just took it all, <laughs> or or Putin, or Putin, <laughs> right. who's like known to be, or uh, you know, although he's so good at hiding all his uh, assets, he's supposed to be the richest man in the world, the un, you know, possibly up there at like eight hundred billion dollars, really? or something. He probably yeah, is. 
but they um yeah at least that's what i yeah if you look on that like those billionaires you get towards the top like some of them guys are like they run like the show in some of them countries right but yeah it's how they do it getting down to it you got another song for us oh man oh boy i got that one Poise Planet guy comment and again. Really? What did he say? He shut his toe. He, he, he said, uh, "LOL, just kidding." But you know, same oh. as yesterday's. He likes to tag our thing with it. Oh. He's, obviously, he's got. Um, maybe he's got chores to. Maybe some chores. Yeah, maybe uh, that. Maybe, maybe that we should make a list of chores, chores for this guy, and we could. I do. I have it on a, uh, a chalkboard. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh. When he comes down the stairs. Really. <laughs> yeah. That's huh. good. Thought he couldn't miss that. Just a reminder. He knows, right. He knows what he's supposed to be doing. Oh, but he's watching YouTube instead. Well. Well, well. Soon he'll be able to rake the leaves and get the lawn ready for mowing. Oh, yeah. Right? That's true. Somebody's got to mow it. good leaf raker. It's a big lawn, right? You got a dog over there? Um, yeah. So he's got dog shit to clean up. No. Oh. Dog That's doesn't a, shit. And has got a Ange so happened to get a dog that doesn't shit. I wanna know what? It's yes. one of the greatest features of my dog is that he um you know, our, the my yard's fenced in. Yeah. And he backs up to the edge. He doesn't shit in the middle of the yard. Get the fuck out of here. He backs up to the corner. Is it the dog's edge. name Eli? Yeah, man, he backs up to the edge, the book and he gets Eli. right in the edge. I've never, uh, he's like seven years old, I've never cleaned up any of his shit. Huh. He hides them. He's actually kind of embarrassed about it. Like, if you look out there and see him, he's like looking around, looking around everywhere while he's shitting. The old backup <laughs> shitter. <laughs> it's pretty funny. He's an but uphill he does, he does gardener. It. So, like, you know, there's there's a couple there's a couple awesome things about him, and then there's, like, things that suck about him. But, hey, you got to take take the good with the bad. Right. For sure. Um, so what do we got? You we know, have any, I've we, uh, well, we are always, uh, looking for, I have a song here. That what I are we looking play. for? Cause we're up at, uh, we got a 56 minutes in. What are we Figure looking I for? I keep Waldo? this thing going every uh, half hour. I'm going to play a song. When we come out of that song, we're going to give you guys some updates on the numbers, some yeah. little banter. Over a hundred thousand deaths. And we're going to kick it worldwide. back in. Worldwide. Looking to get a thousand subscribers once again. Anybody tuning in, if you can hit that subscribe button, we'd appreciate it. Um, and uh, you know, good luck. Be safe, everybody out there. You can see the Himalayas. You know that in India. Yeah, that's some. Those are the uh, those are the amazing uh, positive outcomes of everybody going inside their homes yeah. and not running out or the pollution. Did you look back um, in China, man? They they let them back out, and that fucking smog was back. <laughs> so, like, just people running cars and running factories. Every, yeah. Like, is that what it is? They just opened up all the uh, yep the factories and such. And then it was back. It's like, foo. All right, guys. This one is... Uh, it doesn't dissipate. This was... Um, this was from a session of November of 2017. Ooh, what when I got the awesome band, the Light Keepers, to come in and uh, play for me. And... Um, yeah, and these guys are these guys are uh, awesome. So uh, this song is their tune. Oops, I'm on the wrong one there. Uh, this is their song "Miracle." Such a weird word. Word miracle. miracle, miracle, miracle. How do you say it? Miracle, miracle. That's like one the of those uh, upstate ones that where they say, "Say that again." Say, say that again. Miracle. You gonna have a miracle? Uh. Yeah, so here we are. When's the miracle? I thought we were actually having a miracle. Didn't Donald say we were going to have a miracle? It's a miracle. It's just and then it'll disappear. It is. That's what I understand, too. So, hey. Still waiting. Still waiting. Still waiting. You're listening to the Manganese Show, Sonic Gardens Radio. <laughs>
Welcome back. That was the Lightkeepers performing Miracle live at Sonic Garden's old studio. Um, back about three years ago. So, um, yeah, that was awesome. Thanks, Jess, for coming in. Maybe uh, once this thing opens up, we'll get you guys back in for the uh, next level of what we have to offer down here. Uh, looking forward to it. Hopefully. Hopefully we get out of this slump. It sounds like there's a there's a light on the horizon. Is there something like things are smoothing out? Is that what is that what's going on? What do you think, Josh? <laughs> like as far as like seeing that thing from uh you know Fauci makes me say that you know yeah. That's if we if we don't uh if they don't unlock lock us May first. Right. That's if we stay locked down and shit. Right. So But he knows. He knows that we gotta continue. But you know, like I said, that what I was talking about yesterday is it was right from his mouth that we had to look out for um for those for those numbers. Yeah, it still you know? hasn't hit though. In the Midwest or any, you know what I mean? Well, that's kind of what I'm saying, but do they, they feel like maybe it's not going to be as bad? You know, it's like New York is uh, is the exception. 
Right. Well, I mean, you don't know how, like I told you yesterday, you don't know how many people are home and all, they they do not know how many people are sick and not home and haven't gone to the hospital. Like, they've tested in New York, they've tested fucking uh, 417,000 people. The okay. next closest state is Florida at 164,000 people. So, you know what I mean? It's just like, how many people have it and don't go to the hospital or just get quarantined and don't count on this list? Like, those people, people take, I was watching this uh, guy that, uh, this, like, pediatrician guy that had it, and he was good for, like, 12 days, and then he said he took a turn for the worse, and then he had to go to the hospital, and he was in there for 12 days, and he got luckier in hell, he said. And he lived. Right. So... You could have it for a while, and then all of a sudden it just takes you over. So we'll see, man. Some of these, hell, there's, some of these states have tested like 4,000 people, 5,000 people. So, I mean, no one, it's just not going to. It's not going to just go away. Yeah, and there's five states that haven't locked down or anything yet. Think, you know what I mean? Like, there's there's, uh, yeah, and then when when all of a sudden you guys are talking about Indian reservations, oh, they can do it on there. So all of a sudden the Indian reservations aren't going to spread. It's like that seems. Well, I mean, listen, I I was just like, reporting oh, what I had heard. I, I understand, but Dana it's like, White was saying that they don't have to listen to a United States lockdown. So but, we're, but that's why Dana is crazy to no, think they were, that. I don't. Th- they were just gonna, they were going to test them all. The guys got more money than Jesus, and they were going to be able to test who was going to fight. I think he's the yeah. refs. It's the same thing as the WWE doing it, dude. Same fucking thing. Not even as bad because the WWE <laughs> had way more people at that WrestleMania uh, wrestlers. They didn't have no audience and they weren't going to for the UFC. There was way more people there. I don't know if anybody got infected, but. Yeah. Dion also wanted to add that he knows uh, Dr. Fauci. He's cool. He's uh, He knows him from the dead lot. He does. He probably. Yeah. <laughs> we got to get you know, Dion. If you're back there, I listening, told him to call. I, give us a call, buddy. Yeah, he should. We'll pull you in here. Um, you know, you can talk to Uwa personally. Give us, give us some real updates. Where's it? Where's uh? Where's he from? He's where's out he in at? Florida. He Florida. Be, fucking, we got boots on the ground out there in Florida. Damn. He's out there. His nice. uh, girlfriend might have him tied up and just letting him use the keyboard. Oh, I see. Yeah. Can't use the phone. Right. He might gotcha. not be able to use the phone because then he could call for help or something. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. They're getting wild out there. I don't know exactly where they are in Florida. They were over by the Keys, I thought, or somewhere. I don't. I don't have a clue. I don't know. He told me, but. I don't know. So what do you got? Um, what do we got? I guess I'm back over on this John Hopkins. Oh, I'm boy. looking at uh damn time I hit that thing. Um you know United Kingdom creeping up on uh China. We see all that, like as far as uh numbers. So New York uh yesterday they had ten thousand three hundred and thirty three. Oh, well, all right, China. I'll start over. Uh, if New they York, haven't, if I'm okay, you go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> take three. Uh, take three. Go ahead. Go so ahead. New York. You yep. can do it again. They had ten thousand uh, three hundred thirty-three new cases yesterday. This was yesterday. Today they have nine thousand eight new cases. So they're probably going to uh, exceed. Yeah, you would think we're going to exceed. Uh, yesterday. Yeah, and uh, yesterday 799 people died in New York, and today we're at 777. And we always know, like we've said, there's going to be about a f- uh, four-hour fluff from right now. Well, yeah, and the numbers start coming in later too, man. Right. You know what I mean? That's right like now when... they're busy fighting, so then it's like what? Then they got to stop every five minutes and uh, ding. Something. Yeah, so like five, six, and seven is when they start like sending the numbers in. Right. From the day usually. But seeing this gain, I think today is going to be another uh, high 
equal to what you know we've been running well they keep saying that like we're flattening but i mean well it's not flat that's what i mean is i heard you i said that yesterday that somebody said oh it's going down and i'm like no we're at this plateau now yeah and what another thing fauci said was it has to drop it has to like be a significant tomorrow there's like no cases right and that in no cases not like three thousand or two thousand it needs to just be like boom everybody being tested now doesn't have it and otherwise uh it just keeps going, keeps going, keeps going. Yeah. And the count, there's no end because there's there's nothing to compare it to. Right. I mean, this, uh, you know, the uh, original Trump responses were it'll go away in April with the warm. Then he said, uh, you know. I mean, we're way at, we are testing more people, but we're not testing enough, I don't think. And yeah, our cases are at like 12. We're at twenty four thousand right now, a little bit over twenty four thousand new cases a day, and like it and uh, France is at seven thousand, but they they're not testing like if they were testing as many people, I, theirs would their numbers would go way up because they're already so so France. But here's the thing: the numbers going way up doesn't change the deaths unless, like you said, the deaths aren't being reported. Um. Well, yeah, as they Corona, do, if somebody just dies in their home, but they do. The so, deaths do go up. So, no, because you're just finding out that people have it doesn't mean the deaths. It might, it might give us a better. Oh, you're saying they go up because that means they're infecting other people. Yeah, man. There's a yeah. ton of people out here not getting tested. That you know what I mean, and they're and they're the asymptomatic man is all over. It's not just like by chance. Like it's all over. If you get, you know what I mean? Your immune right. system might be great enough, but, but you pass it on. And now, like, say the flu, they they say yesterday that the flu, like, you, you can infect, say, if you got the flu, you can infect one or two people. With this thing, you can infect, like, uh, uh, five or six people, man. So it's a whole different ball game than, like, anything we've seen in a while. So. Yeah. So we look to the experts. Yeah, not us, but we can give you guys some. I don't know how they they were giving Fauci shit or whatever. Like he was around for the AIDS thing. Like they weren't wrong. Like come on now, they weren't wrong about the AIDS. They just finally like got it down where. Yeah, over the last few years, yeah, once once enough uh, people with money started getting it, right? A little more research, probably like the Magic Man. Yeah. Yep. Um. Okay, so my my uh, little thing was I just wanted to look at the whole world situation again to compare. It's a beautiful and world. look a at um, how you know, like I said, uh, UK is going. You know, they got eight thousand, almost nine thousand cases today. So UK is exploding right now. Yeah. Um, and that's based on their population. They are thirty-two deaths. They've done about half as many. Per million. Uh, per million, yeah, which ours is up to 55, which it right. was at 50 when we started this show. So, in other words, people are dying. Yeah, that's uh, what I'm rapidly. saying. Like, like uh, France, they're at 202 per million. Italy, 312. Like those, and that's and, and like I said, they're they're even though their numbers are lower than ours, they're ahead of the game w- than us. So, in the end, we should, and because of the way we lock down, similar to these countries. Um, our num our numbers in deaths per million should also be getting to the those same high numbers as a whole uh, as a whole country. And it's like, you know, it's like anything. You got the world is sitting at thirteen. So yeah, you can sit back and say this is only you know affects thirteen per one million people, but not if you don't handle it right. And that's what we're learning from all these numbers so what is our uh here we are we, we always we we had been talking up um like south korea right so here's south korea south korea is four they're sitting on four per they've tested almost ten thousand per one million which is not really that much more than what we've done that's pretty wild, well, but they did it early. They've tested five hundred thousand people. Right, 
but I'm saying per, it's actually a higher. They've tested more people per million than us, but not much. And they are sitting at a 4%. Uh, 4 per, per million death rate. And right. compared to our 55, Spain's 342. Spain. Um, see now when you go to when you go to USA it doesn't give you this right now I have pulled up the active cases for Spain okay so now they have this meter and their rate their death rate is 22% of the people um, discharged or I'm um, closed sorry closed cases 22% of the cases in Spain are death and there are 8,500 85,415 cases active in Spain. Which is... Uh, <clears throat> Mega Needs Show. Santa Gardens Radio. Boom. Yeah, so... um. Here we are. Anybody uh, wants to call in, the number here is 607-373-HEAT. Did you know that... Uh... H-E-A-T. And uh, we're taking calls. We'd love to hear from anybody out there that just wants to uh, join the conversation. Our operators um, will patch you through. We, uh, you know, one of the things we're trying to do here is just kind of uh, give everybody a spot to hang out. And, uh, you know, our friends and uh, really anybody that wants to, uh, you know, get in on this. So... Uh, well, you know, we're all in this together. We're alone together, and here we are, given this little place where we can all gather daily and uh, shoot the shit, right? Yeah. Yeah, man. Did you know? What? That uh, 16 million Americans lost their jobs in the last three weeks? 16 million now. You see what I'm saying? 20 times the worst case in modern history, which was 1982, where 700,000 people signed up for unemployment. And that was enough for Reagan to come out. And, you know, that was what, that was what Reagan, if Trump had, had what Reagan had and his ability to be like the, the world's grandfather, not the crazy uncle. Right. You know what well, I'm saying? Yeah. Like, that's the charisma that, like, kept the the people that were kind of, like, in the middle, you know? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Hey, we got a call. You got one. Hot. Coming in hot. Mega Need Show. Mega Need Show. You're live. Hello. Hey. hey. Who's this? Who's this? Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Dion? <laughs> Nothing. What are you guys? How are you talking to me? But this is on. Cause we're great. Oh man, we've been struggling with our phone line coming in, but uh, we finally figured that if I just crank up the uh, speakers in my control room, then it's like he's just talking, and then we're on speakerphone. So here we are, man. So give us an update on Florida, man. What's going on down there? Can you hear me? Yo. Could you hear him? Yeah, but am I on time delay or? Well, you oh, got... you might want to turn down what you're watching. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah that's... And okay. listen to us. I got you. Hold on. Yeah. He's got it cranking over there. Cranking. Let me go outside. Is he there? Can you hear me now? Hey, guys. Hey. Hey. Yeah, hi. What's going on down there in Florida? Uh, we're on the Keys. So oh, you I'm are in the nothing. Keys. Um, we had to go through a checkpoint to get here. Really? Yeah, I know. Did they make you go and, quarantine? Uh, what's that, Josh? Did they make you quarantine? in quarantine. Yeah, you are. Um, 
No, uh, uh-uh. no quarantine, man. They, uh, it looked like a scene. Of, it's a stay-at-home order, but uh, crossing. We we came into the Keys because that's where we live, but we were out of town, and it was like crossing over a scene from The Walking Dead. Uh, like twenty cops with uh, face masks, and uh, it looks like something straight out of an uh, apocalypse movie, dude. Wow. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. See, we're in super rural, you know, central New York, so we like we're still, you know, we're usually twenty years behind everything. Internet kind of brought us up to speed, but we're still uh, secluded and not really, um, you know seeing any large masses or i don't know if you know what i mean yeah i've heard of that area it's called canada right <laughs> <laughs> south yeah. it's uh south canada south yeah. canada <laughs> canada it's about time we build a wall yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah a stone yeah, wall well we got a lot of people up here that are like furious at new york city you know and uh we just find it. I find it ridiculous. Yeah, they, they want to succeed or whatever you want. Yeah, to call they're it. like, we want to, su- you know, they want to split the state and call, you know, and we're just like, what are you talking about? We're the dead zone up here, and uh, you know, uh, uh, of course they want to succeed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everybody do. Everybody does. <laughs> you damn liberal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ah, uh, shit. But, you know, then again, when 9-11 comes, they're going to be the people with all their flags out and saying, we'll never forget. But I guess they forgot that all those people were from New York City. Yeah. That always, uh, that always reminds me on uh, the old uh, Curb Your Enthusiasm the, yeah. uh, episode where his doctor's cousin died on 9-11. Did you guys see that one? No, I didn't, but I can only imagine. It's always, uh, that guy's the best. Well, Larry David made a joke. He's like, uh, you know, well, yeah, it's like 9-11. He's like, hey, don't joke around about 9-11. My, my cousin died. He's like, oh, my God, I'm sorry. He's like, yeah, he was riding a bike across town, got hit by a taxi. <laughs> he's like, well, <laughs> he didn't die in 9-11. He's like, yes, he did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. You know who else died on 9-11? was Peter Tosh, 1987. Yeah, Pete Tosh. Oh, the, uh, he, he hasn't passed away, has he? Yeah, 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 he died in 80, he was a, he was killed in 87. Peter Tosh, the, the uh, reggae singer. The reggae with the Bob Marley yeah, and the did, Whalers, uh, yeah. With uh, Mick Jagger. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Mick Jagger awesome. signed him after that, after the Whalers split up. Look, don't look back. Yeah, yeah, he was on Rolling Stone Records. Yep, yeah. exactly. I mean, he was signed to him, yeah. And he toured. He toured with them guys. So like this, that was pretty. Uh, yeah, I was. I'm into that. Uh, that's one of my favorite bands of all time. Word, Sound, and Power. Peter Tosh and Word, Sound, and Power, and they're just like sick band. But yeah. Was Le- was legalizing on Rolling Stone Records? I'm not sure. I'm one of those uh, obscure rock trivia guys, man. Uh, yeah. That's going to drive me crazy now for the rest of the day. I know a lot about certain ones, and then I know nothing about things that people are like, what, you've never heard of that person? I never thought they should legalize it. But uh, who? Jamaica? Anybody. But now you do. Now is a good time. <laughs> now is the time to cash in. Oh, Don't sure. you think, Dion? The whole country should they should legalize it. It'd be a good time to get us out of this. Uh... He lives in Florida. That's old news, man. Right? What, it's what? already legalized there. No, it is. No, we're uh, no, 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 dude. We're you can shoot world. your kids and your neighbors and no, fuck I thought, your dog. But, but it's medical, isn't it? Yeah, we have medical. Well, medical so then is it's different. Like, mm, it, yeah, I guess we have medical, not flower though. You can only vape medicine. Yeah, but it just seems like people in, uh, you know, people in Florida got easier access. I don't know. I guess that's what I'm always thinking is it's like where, you know. No, no. It's pretty, it's pretty stringent, man. Yeah. Uh, I guess that's what they say around here, too. Like, once you get in that catalog or something, then they, then they, like, expect you to get it from them. And then they, like, keep track of, like, how much you're getting, and they're like, uh, you usually get more. Are you getting it in the black market somewhere? Right. I mean, at least that's like somebody said that. I I don't know. Take it as it is. You know, I don't know if it's true. They, uh, 
uh, some of the more progressive cities, like on the Gulf side, um, you can have up to an ounce, and it's a civil ticket, uh, pretty much like jaywalking. Um, there's like different areas of Florida, man. Uh, but then what about uh, like concentrates, like uh, the pens? I think are filed under like a different uh, category as far as like, um, uh, yeah, like controlled substance. Um, That's, I know, I know it's like that in New York. That's actually uh, something people learn the hard way. I know that it is a shatter and concentrate and so on. I do believe they'll charge you with manufactured Oh, okay, so it's actually a whole separate. They had to figure yeah. that out. <laughs> some of the states, um, some of the lower, slower. Uh, say, um, uh, you know what kratom is, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you get. Uh, I, I I was uh, dabbling with it a bit. <laughs> <laughs> well, some <laughs> little dabble, do you? <laughs> I. Uh, I, I think that's in, like in Vermont. That's I illegal. Was, like you can't buy, can't buy a kratom in Vermont. Like that's what's interesting. But then, uh, you know, some play, some of the states. Interesting. New York tried I it. In, I was in, um, I think it was Kentucky or one of those. You know, and I was at a rest area on one of those Grateful Dead excursions. Me and Josh go on. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, I was drinking it. You put, you mix it with water. And there were state troopers around me, and I was waving at me. They were waving at me. I was like, hey, how you doing? And uh, I'm like, you know what? Let me Google the legality of this right here. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it jumped out of me on the screen. It is, uh, it is a higher charge than, uh, than uh, heroin. You have a manufactured opiate. Uh, I think the minimum was 15 years in prison, man. Oh, shit. Yeah. Uh, and that's something like Freedom. in states where it's legal, you can just buy it at the uh, the local gas station. You know? Got nervous it's then, didn't surprising. you? Quit waving to them police, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm having my morning kratom. Right. Hey, uh, so Legalize It was on Columbia Records. It was right before. Uh, it was right before uh, they did the Rolling Stones records ones. Like Equal Rights was on Rolling Stone records. Uh, Bush Doctor, Mystic Man, uh, Wanted, Dreader Alive. What about uh, his last one was Mama uh, Africa was on Rolling. 1987, he did No Nuclear War. No Nuclear War. That was the end. EMI. It was on EMI, Angelo. Yo, that was careful, a quick run. Careful down. with your uh, easy, tap in there, mister. Easy. Didn't Jagger boost his career on Saturday Night Live? They did Saturday Night Live appearance. They did that too. Yep. He helped. He. Oh, yeah, this yeah. The that. story. The story was that nobody would sign Peter Tosh because he was so uh, aggressive with his message. He was a bad motherfucker. And he wouldn't. <laughs> and he was like unwavering. You know, it was kind of his way, or. You know, and so people didn't want to deal with him. And then uh, he did that One Love Peace concert, the same one that Marley's famous for with the, uh, like, lightning striking. Right. Well, he was, like, bringing the hands together of the two political parties. And then, uh, um, you know, he performed that same night, and uh, that's where Mick Jagger and Keith Richards were both there and, like, witnessed that show, and they signed him to come... Uh, be on their label like i said nobody else would sign him and i think so they backed that legalize it album which was able to come out with like you know him in a field of marijuana puffing on a little, puffing on a pipe wrong but was he not in the original whalers he, no, was. he was definitely yeah. him and him bob and uh bunny. him bob and uh bunny whaler came up together and you know they they ran they like played for about 10 years in Jamaica, number one hit after number one hit before they were signed international and they broke them out onto like the hippie scene and tried to sell them like a regular rock group in America. 
and then uh coming to america and then basically they made like two albums and some of the jamaican guy you know they had like kind of a differences of where they wanted to take it and bob went with uh you know the international chris blackwell out of island records and then um you know and and bob or uh, peter bunny a lot of the guys from the original whalers stayed with uh peter when we're in that band word sound and power right up to the end so right. it was really like bob marley and the whalers was originally the whaling whalers which which uh you know then was the whalers then was marketed as bob marley and the whalers and then uh you know then the band split after a couple albums right and, like kind of split right in half where some people went with bob and some people you know yeah, that first that first legalized it was Columbia Records and Island Records, and the and the second one the label was uh, Equal Rights in '77 was the Rolling Stones record and uh, EMI distribute. It's interesting that Island Records took uh, legalize it because he didn't sign with them, so he must have just had to pay them or he well, had to like Island pay them. Records distributed it, but yeah, Columbia that's Columbia Records was the label. That's interesting. Be curious to know more. Distribute it. All right. That's well, yeah. I, that's my information. So you're hanging in there, there, right? Things aren't too bad. Do you still have there. a? Uh, are you? Do you still have a live-in girlfriend? Dion. I think we lost. Oh, we lost him. He had enough. Call out. Call. She must have. She must have caught him on the phone. <laughs> she must have seen him. So hey, thanks for the call. Anybody else, uh, you know, out there wants to uh, call in? Number six zero seven three seven three Heat, and uh, we'd love to hear what your uh, opinion like... is. Thanks for the call in, Dion. Thanks, Dion. And He's thanks for listening guy. out there. Um, you know, like I said, we're just trying to keep a place where we can all uh, gather and have a little, have a little uh, banter, chit chat. I'm gonna kick into another song here. Keep Ooh. this thing going on a uh, half hours. So basically, I'm going to play you guys a Sonic Gardens uh, video, um, you know, every half hour. So I'm trying to keep a little bit of structure to our unstructured Always show. Been. But, um, I mean, I got a lot of stuff. So you heard Ben Wayne today. Wayne, You've heard uh, the Light Keepers. You heard an opening of uh, Monocle and Whiskey. And that's uh, what I'm going to play you right now is a Monocle and Whiskey cut. This one is... The uh, Levon Helm and the band did an awesome song called Ophelia. And uh, they did. we have this. Didn't your, co your cousin and what's his name used to sing this, didn't they? Um, right? My cousin, Chris? No, no. Um, your other cousin. Little Pete. Oh, Pete and, um, and Bill Stratton. Hey, right? what's up, guys out there? They used to be. Uh, they used to sing <clears throat> this one, didn't they? They did. Yeah, I thought so. So let yeah. me find. Uh, they had the hits, man. Let me find this stuff. Here. Little Julio down at the schoolyard. Yeah. Yeah, that that was a good act with my uncle Joe on the drums. Oh yeah. And uh, they were really good. Bill has an amazing, you know, one of those golden voices like, uh, like our very own Nate Collins. You know. Right. They yeah. don't. They. Uh, you know, not that there aren't a million. Right. Awesome singers that I know and love. Right. But the um, just the idea, you know, people that were kind of like made to sing. You know what I'm saying? Right. Where? How come I can't find what I I'm know, looking man. for? I know, You're the here. guy out there running. The, Listen the, here, man. Running the. Listen here, man. I'm out here at the desk. All right. Just doing the report. Here we go. I found it. And data. Thank you. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna give you a. Uh, a Sonic Gardens recording. This one's also, you know, these are all like three years old. We went through some uh, different phases there, some downtime, um, you know, and and uh, then the fire kind of rerouted the whole thing. And oh. oh, we do have a call coming in, so I guess we might as well take that. Dion back. You're live on the Ming and Neat show. Cow. Hey. Hey. I'm hey. Back. What <laughs> happened? Dropped. What happened? I'm sorry, my phone, my uh, my uh, battery ran out of. Oh, I didn't know if you got caught on the phone by your living girlfriend. No, she's uh, she is in the uh, the master bedroom. Oh. Yeah, 
we're all fancy now. Oh, you got a big house now? Yeah, living in uh, Big Pine Key. Really? Yeah, off the mainland. How'd That's you do that? That's beautiful, man. Yeah. I spent a little time down that, that way uh, when I was younger in my telecom uh, travels. I did like a whole round working for that Florida Power and Light, and we were. I spent a lot of time in like C, like uh, uh, Siesta Key. You know, mm -hmm. I never did get down to like uh, the Keys, uh, but um, but yeah, like that and that whole West Coast Florida was was pretty oh, I, cool. Yeah, right? I'm from that area. Uh, oh, nice. We're actually we're we're down in the islands. That we're at, we're in the Florida Keys. Yeah, Florida but, Keys. Uh, I, I know I know Siesta Key up there. Yeah, <laughs> it was pretty cool. Yeah. Like, yeah. I had some cool experiences. Wait, are, you a, are you a musician also? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, I came up playing in the bars down there in Tampa, Ybor City, uh, down into Sarasota and all that. Oh, you cool. did? What were you playing? I played guitar. Actually, I used to play in a Rolling Stones tribute band. Oh, oh that cool. Boy, band. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I yeah. didn't know if you played the maracas or something, but guitar, huh? Guitar player. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I know the area you're talking about, man. It's it's really nice. Huh. That whole strip, like, basically from, is it uh, Naples all the way, you know, up to Tampa, like that whole, that whole coast is awesome. Yeah. Good old telecom. Telecom. Yeah. yeah. That was my that was yeah. my experience with a nuclear power plant. <clears throat> and I, uh, you know, just the guards and like, you know, I'm always going to job sites and you check in, but no, you know, never had to go through like uh, airport check in to get into a job, you know, and uh, that type of style where there's guards and, and uh, you know, they're checking your toolbox. They got to escort you to the bathroom, but we'd just be working on some little telecom, you know, unit in a closet somewhere. I used to, uh, I'm half German, I used to live in Germany, and telecom uh, gotten uh, a bit of a scandal for running monopoly, uh, running a monopoly on the internet system. Uh, so for a while in Germany, they were the only internet provider, and they started juice. when I got there, like in 2001, they were charging, it was something up to 300 to 400 bucks just to have basic internet. Jesus. And finally, the government put the foot down on them. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're really something else, dude. Yeah, it, it just goes to show that how far uh, some some would go uh, un, unregulated in this capitalist market, you know. Just keep charging. Well, that, keep charging. That was, in, that was in Germany, and that's where they're, they're out of. But uh, as like you, I heard Josh talking to you earlier. I'm a, I, I, I spent 15 years in social democracy. And that's why the German government put their foot down on telecom, because they're not letting them have it. Yeah. And, <laughs> yeah, that's the problem here. I, and I, I, I actually believe a lot of COVID is being spread strictly to greed. I mean, it is ludicrous even for Trump to say they're going to open up the country on Easter Sunday. Right. Oh yeah. And then, you know, he's past that, but it's a it's a it's what I was saying earlier. It just becomes a a talking point that gets us gets the buzz going, gets all the the uh, you know, something to talk about on the shows and like the uh, you know, the uh the it gets clips. his supporters going like, too though. And then gets the defense up and it's a, and it's a it's a it's an argument that it's like ridiculous, you know. Sometimes people bring it up. What do you think about this? And it's more like it's, I think about that it's not even worth my thought. <laughs> that's more like it you know but here we are we had, we're supposed to listen to somebody it's kind of like i said even whether you disliked uh reagan's politics it came down to the guy was like a soothing grandfather instead of the uh the the crazy uncle you know yeah but or, yeah or perhaps maybe uh, a professional politician yeah right well, there you go we have now but right? uh it's, 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 it's I, I hate to use the uh, analogy because you know it's used so widely, but it's very becoming it's uh, becoming idiocracy very fast. That's right. exactly what we brought up yesterday. It yeah. was so funny because Josh had never seen that movie, so I showed him like the trailer, like about how it, you know, the inch basically the intro to the movie, and and uh, 
I'm like, oh man, if you've never seen this, it's kind of creepy how how uh, in line we are. Yeah, for for a while, I've, I've seen it back in like 2004 or 2001, whenever it came out. But Six. I was like, yeah, you know, give it 50 years, and then all of a sudden, like in the past. Six years, I'm like, scratch that 50 year prediction. Yeah, right. fast forward. We're homing in. <laughs> fast yeah. forward. They're coming in hot. <laughs> coming in hot. <laughs> I can give you uh, an example with uh, what's going on now is uh, my two kids live in Germany. Right. And uh, they have. You have the two of them? Right now. They're, my 11 year olds understand to stay inside because of this better than where I was living in Florida, where you have a 40 year old plus just congregating freely. It's like my kids understand the, so gra- the yeah. uh, gravity of the situation better than most American adults. Yeah. That's so yeah, sad. Yeah. They're, they're getting uh, about 2,800 cases a day over there in Germany. What are we up to now? Today, today we're we're we've gotten uh, twenty seven thousand new cases today, but we're at a total we're, we're at a total of four hundred ninety five thousand seven hundred and fifty cases uh, in the U.S. up to date. Uh, Eighteen thousand four hundred and thirty deaths. We got to be number one. Yeah, it's ter- uh it's fucking it's terrible. Oh. Yeah, we're going to pass Italy either in the morning or tonight. You know what I mean? For deaths. Just, uh, yeah, just deaths alone. Yeah, it looks like definitely looking at the new high for deaths is going to be today. And I think it you would think. puts it into, yeah, just because it's so early, like we said in the reporting. And don't let Spain, Spain's right there too, man. And France. France is getting over 7,000 new cases a day. And that's where UK that they got nine thousand cases yeah. today. Yeah. Which means if they if they continue at that rate, they're gonna pass China tomorrow, as well as, you know, Iran still coming in and Turkey. Turkey five thousand almost. Um, and it's early in the day, so it's like nothing like infected Turkey. How is the Middle East doing? I haven't heard any, I haven't really checked out anything of how their numbers are. I heard uh, Saudi Arabia, like that. Like Iran, yeah. uh, well, Libya, well, that, that area. Iran's doing North terrible. North yeah, Iran's Iran's uh, right behind the UK and 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 China. So Iran is looking to, uh, you know, continue to have higher numbers than China has reported. Um, um, I heard like the Saudi family over there, a bunch of them got infected. But like Israel's, uh. 10,000 total cases. Um, they've got a they've got a 13,000 per million test. That's what they've done, which is pretty of the higher places. We don't know our true numbers, do we? Because of the uh, shortage of, or the actually the non-existent tests. Right, so we don't, and and we don't, and then they started, Dion. They started not testing people that died that hadn't been tested. They were before testing to see if they died from COVID or they had it when they died. They quit doing that. Oh wow! Yeah, exactly. Uh, I read Merle Haggard passed away this morning. Correct? No, he's already been dead. That was uh, John Prine was two couple days ago. I read Merle Haggard. You know how people post on Facebook. Yeah. Yeah, he died a while ago. Five years ago. And yeah. Like, Holy shit. Yeah. My, my 14-year-old son tells me somebody died every day just to see what my reaction is, and I usually am like, I, I, I've uh, caught on, you know, so I say, no, they didn't. You're lying. But he got me a couple times early on. He'd just randomly tell me somebody. Right. Famous, Rando. Some random famous uh, the UK prime minister is in intensive care. He got out. He, they just let him out, like yes, yeah, yesterday, I believe. That's what they said. Yeah, I that's what they're to telling say us. Again, that any any world leaders are going to be, uh, you know, everything's going good until until they're dead. Until it's not. 
basically going to wait till the end. So yeah, the big, you know, the the some of the best uh, numbers are like South Korea, where they got they had their case the same, their case was uh the same day as us reported case, and they're only on four per million deaths, and they got ten thousand cases, only twenty seven new ones, and they uh and they really are only testing about a little more per million than we are at this point, but they did it early as opposed to after it's already spread to everybody, you know, like I think they've done a better job of uh, containing it. And that's kind of what you look at as the winners is who can contain it and the losers. That's pretty much what Germany did. Um, I do know they have like... (laughs) When uh, back in the fucking 40s? I watched a couple of (laughs) He's on, on pandemics, but I do know they have like a herd quarantine, and that's what you just described. I think that's when they uh, try to test as many people as possible and then quarantine them. Right. That's, well, that's what South Korea was doing. And so, doing. in that in that comparison, Josh, if you look at Germany, like you're saying, they're sitting at 33 per one million deaths, as opposed to almost the same amount of cases in France where France is at uh, 202 per million. Right. So they're they're doing a little bit better than us in comparison to uh, population. I deaths, mean, but I mean, I you can. There's always that bit of question when it comes to Germany, though. Like, uh, <laughs> no, seriously. Yeah, were, <laughs> I know. I'm kidding. Right. Don't you know what I mean? Like, there's always that. There's a shadow of doubt. Always, it don't matter like how many years it's been. Like, um, there are another one with with the their numbers. Their numbers might they might be right, but you always got that like hanging over you. Like, is it really? Is that really what's going on over there? Or, um, uh, no, they're they're. I lived over there for a long time. It's very transparent. Yeah, yeah. I, I would say they're almost one of the most transparent at this right. point. They're the leaders of uh, they're the leaders of like the um, free in world a way, and the new kind of like the mod. I don't know. You know, it's uh, there's different things that you know, whatever that I've heard about it. I don't know firsthand necessarily. Right. Other than my girlfriend was over there for a month with the uh, army. Yeah, but she just said that. People weren't really uh, overly nice, you know, friendly in Germany. Imagine, she's, imagine she's that. Really, she's really, uh, you know, uh, social and like, you know, just that kind of person. And she just felt like she did meet some good people. But, um, you know, overall, she thought that people were kind of a little stuck up there. You know? Hey, Dion, have you seen that? Uh, if you... uh, Justine's yelling from the bedroom. She goes a little. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Dan, if you get bored yeah. fucking uh, and you're watching TV, watch that TV show, The Hunters. It's about uh, it's killer, man. It literally it's an awesome show. If you get bored, yeah, I, man. Something uh, someone brought that up to me the other day. What is that? It's it's. Uh, well, I uh, <laughs> well, I know I just got to watch. Um, Hunt, well, give us the give us a rundown. Give us a sales pitch yeah. on why we should watch this. Well, it's it's like in the, uh, I'd say the late sixties, early seventies, maybe. Um, a bunch of Jewish guys living in uh, New York that had been. Oh yeah. Yeah. Kind of Tarantino-y. Kind of. It's kind of like it, it, it's kind of like that. It's it's uh, fucked up like that. Yes. It's got El Pacino in it, and um, oh yeah, I think I did. So see basically, it. they go around uh, because oh, there's Nazis. a bunch of Germans, Nazis living yeah. in the U.S. trying to do certain shit. And dude, it's a yeah, got a good uh, plot. So the Jew, the Jewish people go uh, start uh, basically hunting the Nazis down. Well, there was actually in the, USA, in New York City, and stuff. Well, there's the there's the true story, which was the one uh, where the Israeli hired the assassins to go around and and find people and right Right. you know anything about that what was that the uh there was like a movie on it that may have been dramatized but obviously of course dramatized but um i remember that story where it kind of uh these guys were like basically hired you know in real life to be assassins and hunt down huh uh, it's a pretty good show man 
What about the uh, yeah. what about the idea of uh, you know? There's a show about they traced uh, the whole that Hitler possibly got out, and uh, there was a huge amount of Nazis that moved to Argentina. <laughs> yeah, and there's like like right now you go to certain uh, towns in Argentina, everybody speaks German. Really, it's a complete um, uh, immigrated you know area, and now you know generations later if you're, if you're into really freaky stuff man um mangalay escaped there the uh, the uh doctor who did all the uh, experimentations and he was fascinated by twins and uh they call it in south america the village of the twins really and uh yeah it, it's it's not it, it's so wacky it sounds like fiction but it's not you can uh, look at it on YouTube there's a whole village in South America and he was treating the he was treating patients there huh. and all of a sudden they all uh, they're all twins the whole village is twins like right. out in the uh, right. jungle yeah <laughs> it's pretty bizarre man um, what did you but, did you what part of South America was it oh uh, uh, was it Brazil, hon? It's outside Brazil, or it's in yeah. Argentina. Yeah, right. That same there. same general area that we're talking about, huh? Oh yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, look at Village of the Twins, Joseph Mengele. It's pretty pretty bizarre. Uh, actually, uh, he was uh, with genetics, human genetics, and DNA. He was uh, he used the uh, a lot of those guys used. Uh, the coming of the Nazis as an excuse to experiment with uh, all kinds of wacky <laughs> shenanigans. Um, but yeah, he uh, eventually succeeded. He was the one, uh, Angel of Death, who treated all of the... Uh, right. Who pulled the twins in Auschwitz and so on. Um, but yeah, he, he escaped over there. They, they found his... Uh, they determined from his grave uh, somebody drowned a German. Uh, he was Austrian, actually, in the 80s or 90s, and it turned out to be him. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of them made it. Uh, Germany had colonies over in South America. Uh, not not actual official colonies, but uh, uh, the two countries have always, uh, since the 1800s, so, uh, a lot of Germans moved there. Same as Mexico City. Right. Yeah. I only know this crap because I'm half German. <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, we're uh, we're uh, happy you called us in, man, and uh, you know, we appreciate it. Appreciate the call. Yeah, bud. Thanks for calling, man. We're gonna call fade out. I'm gonna play you. I'm gonna play you a uh, uh, Shaka. No, we're gonna yeah, do a. Um, he wants to hear you in, in you your. You want to hear our band? Yeah, right, he's yeah. in a band, man. Listen to the band. Yeah. He's he's in it. All right, I'm going to give you something here. Hey, call anytime you want. We do the show every day, Dion. I just, every day now. Yeah, yeah we, we've been doing We're actually, this is day 26 in a row. We do this about 3.30. You know, we fluctuate. We started at 2, then we moved it, and 3, then we're like 3.30, and now we got some business. So tomorrow will be around like 4 o'clock or so. But, um, is there, you guys both see um, uh, the permanent hosts? I thought Ryan Warner and all them were in on this too. Yeah, well, it's uh, it's my studio. Josh has his uh, shop next door. So we're kind of like uh, one-man shows for our businesses anyway. So we kind of come in and I got, you know, uh, the green screen behind Josh is actually our stage uh, where we have, you know, everything. And I have a... Um, a really sweet setup where I'm able to live stream with multiple camera angles. And, uh, you know, uh, I've been kind of working on it for a long time. Some of the, vi like the video you've seen earlier in the show is me, uh, using multiple camera angles, recording through, um, a recording system to give a, a, a decent, uh, a sound like track system. But then I took them all and like made a video out of it by splicing all the video together. But my, my goal has been to be able to live stream music, you know, with, uh, you know, obviously I'm not going to be at the level of like a professional, you know, uh, dead and company show or like a fish stream, 
but I'm, you know, uh, don't, don't think your standards that low, bro. Right. Well, either way, you know, <laughs> either, um, my point of like the, the He's amount, of, the amount of money, the amount of money they put into that stuff. And, uh, um, you know what I mean? But it, in this, uh, little, you know, I'm just proud of what I put together anyway. I'll give you a, a song from us that I actually just released uh, today, broke it down. But we have an entire set on this Sonic Gardens channel. If you go to Shaka, um, after you hear this song, that's a C-H-A-K-A. And that's uh, kind of represents our Shenango County with a C-H, you know. Better turn it up, Dion. And uh, I got to find Make I... Justine dance. So, um... See. Chaka, as in uh, same spelling as Chaka Khan. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but you, it's. Uh, you guys actually live in a county called Chaka? No, we live in a county called Shenango. Shenango. So we're like Shenango, Chaka. Chaka. How about that? Where are you guys? Up by Buffalo or? No. We're right about the center of the center. state. Center uh, of the between state. Between Binghamton Central and Syracuse. New York. Binghamton, oh, okay. Utica, I Syracuse. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah, that's a lot closer to the city. My my sister lives uh, in Pine Bush. Pine Bush. Yeah. Yeah, I know. What was the, uh, oh, that the other town where the prison was, was Elmira. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah that's that. not really a cool, that's a little eerie place when you pull in there on a bus. Wasn't it a college town? Well, it's, they got a college. They also have a big prison. Kind of eerie. Yeah. It was built a long time ago. Not really That's kind of... Is it or is it gone? No, it's there. Not really the place yeah. you want to go hang out, man. Seriously. Nah. Trust me. I'm good. <laughs> I'm getting the keys, bro. Trust me. <laughs> so, hey, Dion, you can check out this whole set on our uh, on our YouTube channel. Look up that Shaka. It's like a 50-minute. Yeah. Then, then I also have it broke down into... Uh, I've just kind of added a track at a time. But uh, this one's like... Uh, by the second song in the set. You might know this tune. This one's uh, Burn One Down. Thanks for calling, So bud. thanks for the call, man. Catch you later. No problem, man. Have a great call day. All right. Late, bud. Manganeed Show. Sonic. <laughs> Just 
to burn one down. Pass it around, pass it around, yeah. Banana, go get your mash in the ground, yeah.
And we're back. Oop. And you're back. Mangan needs. All right. Was birtherism racist? We're out of here. <laughs> Was birtherism racist? It popped in. All right. Last updates here, and we're out. Quick. Quick updates. Quick ones. Who was on the? Who was on the on the run? On, on the, the run. run. All right. You gotta run. You gotta run. All right, quick updates. Let me hit that update because I actually haven't hit that in over we an got hour here. 1688, another thousand. So it was a 3,000 climb in the two hours that we've uh, that been here. There are uh, currently 1,688,000 cases in the world, about 102,209 deaths, 375,283 recovered. Of those closed cases, 79% have recovered or been discharged, and 21% are dead. dead. And there you have it, folks. And there you have it. Put your head between uh, we your are, legs, and we'll see you tomorrow. That's right. Everybody, good luck out there. Be safe. Thanks Be the for right having thing. us. Protect each other. Protect uh, all the people you love, all those things. And... Uh, Catch you guys tomorrow. No about, uh, Wait, what? What time tomorrow? About four thirty. We're gonna. Sh we're gonna. We'll do an update during the day, but we're gonna aim for around four thirty. But it might be a little later. It all depends. It all depends. But I'll know depends. during the day. I'll let you know, so you can let them know, and then we'll all know. Okay. I understand what you're saying. Thank you, everybody. All right. Thanks, everybody. Don't uh, forget to subscribe. Yeah, please. Tell your friends. Tell your friends. See you tomorrow. Late. Later on. Bye. Cut it. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit.